JP2 Family for Vocations Part 2 Proposal of Pastoral Activity for Promotion of Vocations in the US, in Poland and in other countries for a St. Cyril and Methodius Seminary in Orchard Lake, Michigan in the spirit of the teaching of St. John Paul II. Good morning. About one month ago I made the first presentation of this proposal of this pastoral activity of promoting vocations with focus in particular for this seminary in Orchard Lake. Today I would like to give a little bit more details. Welcome. In the first video I explained the reason why I put the name of this activity as JB2 Family for Vocations because uh, as today I would like to illustrate a little bit more, St. John Paul II visited Orchard Lake twice in 1969 and in 1976. For example, here on the screen, you can see a historic picture taken at Orchard Lake when he was yet the Cardinal, Cardinal Wojtyła visited Orchard Lake. And I would like also to quote here following uh, the Polish uh, weekly Tygodnik Polski, uh, two uh, important quotations concerning the Orchard Lake schools, but in particular concerning this seminary. If the Orchard Lake schools did not exist, it would be necessary to establish them. Fill Orchard Lake to capacity, sustain Orchard Lake, we need Orchard Lake. Our revival plan that we are preparing for the seminary in Orchard Lake intends to redefine it. Therefore, we continue with the history retaining the element of missionary zeal of the holy patron St. Cyril and Methodius through carrying out the mission of the church to society by preparing candidates for the Catholic priesthood originating from different cultural and language background for serving the church in the US. And then we are also adding uh, the element of legacy of St. John Paul II. Being faithful to this legacy, we would like to respond to the contemporary needs of the church by preparing missionary disciples of the new evangelization. So this revival continues with the history, but would like also to set the seminary on the new tracks, as uh, John Paul II was teaching us about the new evangelization. These two key elements of the mission and vision are spelled out in the objectives, in the role which the seminary should play. Uh, therefore, we have provision of priestly formation for uh, students uh, both domestic and international, provision of formation for lay people, men and women, for various ministries in the church in view of the new evangelization, and therefore there is prospect of offering also other possible degree programs, provision of continuing formation for those who are already in service for priests, deacons and lay ministers, expanding it more spiritual and intellectual formation for the faithful through different uh, training, short courses, seminars, retreats. This institution could be also uh, a center providing acculturation, inculturation and language programs for international students and personnel willing to work in the US, uh, in the church in the US, being a center for ecumenical interreligious and cultural dialogue. In particular, this aspect of cultural dialogue embraces also all other aspects. Therefore, those who are concerned if this institution would provide something for Bologna, here under this title, cultural dialogue, we have a lot of space to do it. And then being a center of research, because this institution also should provide theological research. And finally, what concerns now this uh, JP2 family pro, uh, for vocations is the aspect that institution not only should wait for vocations coming, 
but should be the center which promotes vocations. Now, how this promotion of vocation could work? There are roles assigned to the seminary. The seminary could become a center and a hub for promotion of vocations and having a leading role by providing spiritual guidance through coordination of prayerful initiatives, providing materials for reflection and prayers and etc. But also, there are roles uh, assigned to all individuals and group, all the faithful who would like to engage in vocation promotion, firstly by praying for vocations to priesthood and religious life, then helping in creating awareness of vocations to priesthood and religious life in their own uh, environment where they live and work, and finally, possibility of forming uh, creating family gatherings suitable for prayers and reflections on vocations because such gatherings will uh, be composed of uh, parents, of uh, children and the whole uh, community who is interested in promotion of vocations. Since we are yet before uh, the final decision concerning the fate of this seminary will be taken in April by both boards, both of trustees and board of regents. We are also asking you, as in the previous video, to pray for vocations and for this seminary. Share information about this seminary among your friends, asking them to do the same, sharing with their friends. And finally, important is also for us to get some prospective candidates uh, who are and could be the strongest argument uh, to convince board members that the seminary still has a mission to fulfill. And now what the prospective candidates can do, they can contact the seminary via email uh, sscmsadmissions at sscms.edu as well also they can uh, contact uh, the seminary through the Facebook page the address included below uh, facebook.com slash SSEMS uh, vocations. And finally, for those who are in Poland or could be linked to Poland, there is also a possibility of collaboration uh, with the Salvatorian Vocation uh, Center in Polish called Salvatoriański Ośrodek Powołań. Here on the screen, I'm providing you details, both details of uh, this seminary in Orchard Lake, as well details of this Salvatorian uh, vocation center. Those who are interested and would like also to go through such preparation uh, in Poland, they may contact them directly. Concerning other countries, we are still working on possible connections to have also some links for the prospective candidates. Thank you for attention. God bless you.